About time. Not just about time, Mr. Brooks. Time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly. Yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is... not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... Well, I'll just let her show you. sensing all kinds of dark energy that feeling you're being watched general hellho vibe yes all these potentialities converging at once truly surprising feat miss rasputin for someone so young of course you think this is crazy wait until you see manhattan From here, magic can open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet, and beyond. We don't want to risk punching through the wards protecting your sanctum, Doctor. So we've chosen a safe exit a few blocks over instead. <laughs> Couldn't be worse than the last time. It was just a simple miscommunication. Ocean Avenue. I said Ocean Avenue, Magic. At least we know the wards of protection are still in place. For now. I suggest we hurry. news, 
but I'm seeing minimal Hydra resistance between you and the Sanctum. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the wards of protection. Let's do this! These fanatics are always the same. Let me show you. Hydra. We will not fail. Engaging target. You are going to pay for that. Regroup and await reinforcements. That gamma spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gemma or not, I feel the hand of my mother at work here. Kiss the mother with that mouth? Wanda is calling out to me. I feel her struggle. Need to concentrate and... Ah! And I won't be doing that again. No mercy for the servants of Bullock. You are lucky to still be breathing.
That's a neat trick. Playtime. Looking good, feeling good. The light's gift. Just like old times. Move back! I'm feeling good about the situation, all things considered. Human hunter, not Lilin. You were saying the lifeblood of the mother pumps through our veins. The mother is eternal. Hydra is eternal. One of bed. <laughs> Association is not going to like this. No. I'll handle it. <laughs> or <laughs> not. We do not fear your magic, little wizard. We have answered the mother's call. We are venom to all. And you are large. Quickly, do I even want to know what that beast is? It calls itself Venom. Until now, a pale imitation of a very heroic young friend of mine. We will feed your ugly tongue to the spider wizard. Marinate it in his stomach juices and eat it with his spleen. Demons is forced to rely upon hired hands occasionally.
Watch and belongs to mother now. As you belong to us, we shall start with your juicy entrails. Then, slowly savor your delicious brains. Mother's children sold. Shaddy. Thankfully, no. Put this to good use. Sometimes I even impress myself. We may not be ready for this thing yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. Yes. Surrender. Be eaten. Fill our belly with your tasty fear. I shall fill your belly with my blade, demon. Welcome assistance.
truly your best? Your mother abandoned. Even the best can get... No escape from me, demon. Hold up. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. <laughs> Friendly. Seemed like you folks could use a hand, Doc. <coughs> Spider-Man! Jeez, Eddie, what happened to you? That's sort of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but... Whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. We will rip your face off and suck the marrow from your bones! Always nice to see you too, buddy. So, I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? <laughs> Don't worry, Doc. That's just his way of saying he cares! <laughs> Congratulations. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall... I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Ah, uh, of course! I see it now. The look! Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... Than the Sanctum? Or Wanda. She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. We'll talk more later. Get some rest.
Not to be the nagging old lady, but I told you not to push too hard. That was a complete fiasco. And it would have been far worse had Spider-Man not arrived when he did? No kidding. Caretaker would have been pissed if Venom had actually eaten a hunter. Yes, one disaster averted. But we still need to figure out how to get Wanda and the Sanctum back. Hunter, you look scathed. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there. With a little help. Your support is appreciated. Oh, no problem. Already got a few ideas cooking. You're not allergic to mimetic poly... You know what? Never mind. Why spoil the surprise? I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. Thanks for the gift, Tony. I think you'll like it. It's a limited edition. A limited edition what? Oh, you'll see. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. Hi, I'm Tony Stark. But if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man Rule.
My old journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. We were all so happy then. Never enough room for my armor in this thing. the moment. She's been visiting your door every morning for the past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I am sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the Forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Charlie was restless all night. I should have known something was wrong. We'll talk more later, but for now, Stark has requested your presence in the Forge. I think he has another present for you. I'm almost getting used to seeing you on your feet again. Almost. I don't get it. Strange couldn't just magic his way in? Something about the whole alien thing threw off his mojo. That explains so much. No wonder he gets so strange around me. 